Salam alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you are going to see the difference between flat map and map operations that are used as transformation operations for collections. Let's get started. So previously, we used an operation called map. Let's say I'm having a list here to be a list of integers. Let's say I'm having this list. Let's say I want to apply a map function in order to make the square of this numbers. So we can do something like following list and map and we map it it by itself. If we print this, we will get one, four, nine, and so on. Let's run it. As you can see, here is the result. This is the map, which means it mapped one thing using transformation function to another. Now, there is another method called flat map. Let's say I'm having another list called list two. This list is a list of lists, so it is list of lists for integers. So there is list of one, two, three, four, list of these numbers, and list of this nine, for example. You can even add 10 here, no problem. So flat map is used to flatten this list into one simple list that contain all the elements. So let's say that I'm using this list here, list two, like the following, and I do flat map and I pass the it directly. It here means this list. So the result would be a list, a complete list of one, two, three, and four. So it doesn't transform the element itself. It just flattened them out. That's why we call it flat map. So this is just a transformation function. This lambda here, if you click here, you will see it lambda. It accepts the t. t is part of this iterable, right? We are iterating on this. And you return r. r will be the result or the return time. Let's say that I'm having another example here. I'm having a person here. And in this person, we have some images. And you have a list of these persons. Each person contains some URLs for these images. So you can do something like the following. We can get all the persons. Let's do that to the list like following and do flat map. What we will get here, we will get a person. So you can do that person dot its images. Let's just print out this to understand it correctly. The results would be all these URLs. So you get all these URLs inside one only list. So this is the way to understand flat map. As you can see here, let me just repeat it. So just to understand it more, as you can see, the T is must be iterable, right? So the T here in our example is this one this list of the R here is an iterable also, which is which, which is this image. So this is the way how you can understand the difference between flat map and maps. There is different implementation. I don't know. There is also in Rx Java, I think, Rx Hotlin, there is this flat operation. You can find it in many places also. So this is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you understand the difference between this flat map and map transformation operations we can apply to iterables. If you didn't watch the video about maps transformation, also you can watch it from here. Thanks a lot again and see you in the next videos. Bye.